I very much hope in my lifetime there'll be more accessible tools to look at the biophoton emissions mm. of the body. Um, you know, we have, you know, different things um, like Carillion photography or the GDB cameras, or I have a bio well in my office. And, um, you know, this is the, you know, this is, is really what excites me, the idea of light and sound um, and that communication in the body. And so, um, you know, I just share with people that it's been, you know, studied, you know, obviously Dr. Fritz Albert Pop looked at biophotons and that we are wired to basically emit and receive sound, right? So from our DNA, you know, our DNA can emit biophotons and we have a whole network of basically a fiber optic network in our body that um, responds to light transmission. And then an area that is super exciting to me is sound and there is a um, biophysicist out of UCLA like in the early 2000s um, basically it's called sonocytology so this um, the study of cell sounds so mm-hmm. you can measure you know and hear sounds coming from cells and just in the beauty of how we're made that when cells are sick or dying or mutated or have cancer they make an incoherent dissonant sound and then when they're healthy, they're more harmonious, uh, you know, harmonious and coherent. And so, you know, giving people like, you know, those pearls and then, you know, I, I feel like obviously there's, you know, light sound, this idea of frequency, frequency, I think that term gets thrown around a lot, but it's obviously very much how the, the world works. And um, they're in ancient traditions, you know, they even mapped out resonant frequencies and resonant sounds for every t- tissue in the body. And, you know, a lot of our Eastern European, um, you know, scientists have you figured out technologies to measure, you know, resonant frequencies in the body. So that idea, like every tissue has an optimal range of frequency when it's in balance and when it's out of balance, you know, there is stress and incoherence and pathology. And so when you think about it, the, the language of all of that, a lot of our job, right, Um, especially when people are sick is like, how do we add more coherent information to the body? So the body can then have more balanced biochemistry. So more coherent light. So that's going to be, you know, our light therapies, more coherent sound. That's going to be our sound therapies. There's a lot of different frequency technologies that do different things, but the ones that I like, um, you know, find when there's imbalance in resonant frequencies and then add resonant frequencies to the body. So then the body has the opportunity to um, respond, right. And regulate with that information. So I see, you know, very much that these um, biofield therapies, um, we just miss out a huge opportunity if we're not integrating them along the way with our, you know, vitamin D and our antimicrobials and our chelation and, you know, all that. So I'm not a purist and there are people out there, you know, I'm totally in honor of that can just heal with energy alone. But, you know, for the modern time and modern terrain, I feel like we need that you know, integration. Um, and that's, you know, the new integrative medicine, right? You know, biofield science with, you know, functional and bioregulatory medicine. No, it's incredibly exciting that you have that combination because you really are uh, attacking an issue at, at multiple initiation points. Yeah. And I think all issues really do start on an energetic or even vibration. You know, Tesla said it the best that if you want to learn the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Like uh-huh. he knew it. He was one of the smartest minds. And I'm sure Einstein, Pop, George Lakofsky, they would all agree. And these are some of the most prominent scientific minds of the last hundred years. We're just a little bit slow, I think, to adopt it in medicine, which is normal. I think, you know, it took Newtonian principles, you know, a couple hundred years to really be adopted by medicine and start applying those. So I think we're just ahead of the curve, but it will get there. 